Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the solution to the lead code problem 38 count and save. So the problem is easy but it's a little tricky to understand what the problem actually is. So it says we have a count and save sequence which is the sequence of integers with the first five terms as the following. So we have 1 and 11, 21, 1, 2, 1, 1 and this. And it says that 1 is read off as 1, 1, 1, 11, 1, 1 is read off as 2, 1 or 2, 1. So how is this sequence being formed? And then we have to generate the nth term of the sequence. So how is this sequence being generated? So we have the initial, the base sequence 1 and based on this all the rest of our sequence will be counted. So this is our base sequence. So the base sequence is 1. So we have 1 and based on this all the other elements in our sequence will be generated. So what is this 1? So 1 is basically 1 times 1. So that is 1, 1. So what we are doing is we are going at the element and we are writing the frequency of this element and the element itself. So we have 1 times 1. So 1, 1. Then here I have 1, 2 times. So I have 2 times 1. Now in the previous sequence I have 1 times 2 and 1 times 1. So 1 times 2, 1 times 1. Now the next part is a little tricky. So in the previous sequence, uh, in the previous sequence element I have 1 times 1. So we are looking at only in a continuous stretch how many element, how many frequency of the elements are at a stretch. So here we have 1 but Continuously we only have 1, 1. So we'll say 1, 1. Then how many 2's do we have continuously here? So we only have 1, 2. So 1, 2. Then here how many 1's do we have continuously? We have 2. So 2, 1. And this is our fifth term. And so on it will be. So what we're doing is we're looking at the previous element in our sequence and the element we find we find the frequency of it continuously while it is being repeated and when it stops being repeated we print the count and we print the element. So that is how we are going to solve this. So let's get to the code. So initially let's uh, have a string say val and initially it will be 1 because 1 is needed. Now we'll, uh, we want to generate the nth sequence so we'll go from 0 to n minus 1 i plus plus. Now what we'll do is we'll find the first character of uh, the uh, our string char at 0. So this will be our first character and then we'll find how many times it is being repeated continuously when it stops getting repeated we'll add it to our string. So let's have a string builder. String builder is nothing but you can think of it as a string and we can append we can append some characters to it. So string builder and let's call it s is equal to new string builder. Okay. So now we have a variable say count. We'll have a variable count. So in count is equal to 1. Why 1? Because our c is uh, occurring at least 1. So that's why count is 1. And now again we'll go from i is equal to 1 to the end of our string well. Why are we going from 1? Because we already have 0 as c. So we're going from 1 to well and find how many times c is being repeated continuously. So well dot length and j plus plus. Let's take it as j because we've already taken variable i. So we'll take this as j. So j from 1 to the last. So now uh, if it is it, if it stops being repeated then what do we do? Then we break out of this and we don't break out of this then we change our c. If c stops being repeated for example let's say we have 1 2 1 1. So this will be my c initially. Now I come here and I find that c stops being repeated. So I print c 
uh, C's count and then I print C. So that is what I'll be doing. If it stops being repeated, uh, care at if C is not equal to well dot care at J, meaning that it's no longer being repeated. So I just append its count. How many times did I uh, encountered it? And then I append it the number uh, itself, which was C. And then count is equal to zero because then we'll have another C and we'll find how many times that C is there at a stretch. Well, dot care at J. So this will be my next C. This will be my next number and I find out how many times is this number being repeated. So this is when it shows being repeated. If it is continuously being repeated, then C simply increase the count and the number will stay as it is. Now, when uh, you'll be done, you'll need to put back the last elements, the last count and the last C. So I'll do that, F dot append, whatever will be the last number. So that, that's count and that number, F dot append, C. And now, well will be this. So well is equal to S dot to string. And well will be our answer. So in the end, return well. So I'll show with an example. So how, how it is happening is that you have one. So suppose you start with one. So C is now 1, so it is no longer being repeated here because uh, 1 is the length. So we come here directly and we append the count which was 1 and then we append C. So now next we have well as 1, 1. And every time after appending we make well as that. So now we have uh, well as 1, 1. Now C becomes this one and it it's repeated so count plus plus. So we come here and then we break out of the loop because uh, we're out of characters. So the count is 2 and C is 1. So uh, S will become, will append that to S and it will become 2, 1. And so on, it keeps on going. So that is what's happening. So let's just try to run it. So if we try to submit it, okay, so we got 1ms runtime and string builder was not really needed, but string builder has a uh, lesser time complexity than just if you wanted to use simply strings or character, either you could have done it with that al also, but uh, string builder is more efficient. So this is how we're doing. We're just simply finding the next element of our sequence from the previous element in our sequence. So that's all. Thank you.